Hey, what's up, you guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kanye West, you have walked back the email that you had people send out this morning at your school saying you were shutting the school down. Now, listen, I did some research. And a lot of y'all are like, that's because Ye was doing the right thing. Man, shut up, y'all. Know what y'all talk about. Ye wasn't doing nothing but thinking about his custody arrangement. Y'all, I did some resource Re resource research Kanye was down on the ropes the whole world piling in on him so you know the woman he sworn to protect Miss Kimberly Noel Kardashian decided to come in and get her kicks listen I don't even like Kim and I can't blame her if you are my nemesis if you are my worst enemy why would you expect me to show you any type of empathy while you're burning your world down y'all Kim came in and released a statement on TMZ that basically said, baby, he's acting a fool. He was trying to get the kids to go to that school. He closed the school down. So you know what? I want full custody, y'all. But the thing is like everything with Kim, too heavy handed, too obvious, and not enough, je ne sais quoi, as it will. And guess what? Kanye saw that shit. Kim showed her hand and he was like, oh, no, 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 no. Nope, run it back. The school's back open, y'all. Let's see what two self-involved people that only care about their offspring when they go to war. That's Kanye and Kim. And you can sit there and talk trash about Kim, and I know I do all day, and you can talk trash about Kanye. I also do that all day. But one thing I wanna say, Kanye has said he will always love Kim, has sworn to protect Kim. Kim is always on the low with Kanye. Actually, she leads to these rumors. She's on the low with any man that ever touched her. And most of the ones we don't know. But again, isn't it funny that Kim showed her hand a little bit too quick and then Kanye rolled back the closing of the school. He literally, you know what? You know what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's get into the facts. Let's get into the facts. And then we can come back and see what's going on because y'all this really has me cracked up who do you want to start with kim or let's start with kim and her, kim is going to be the worst lawyer in the world she has no strategic mind she's so heavy-handed honestly if i was kim and i think she probably does feel insecure the fact that chris is the real brains kim is a good lieutenant she knows how to carry that stuff out but honestly chris is the brains in this operation they said kanye west He's still lawyered up in the divorce custody settlement. Custody settlement negotiations continue. Now, everything in the divorce, everything in the divorce is pretty much settled except for custody. Kanye is pushing for 50% of custody. Now, I will say this once. I've said it twice. I do not know why Kanye decided to burn the world down before December 5th, which I believe is their custody, is their date to finally close the, uh, the case on their marriage. They're already legally single, but I mean, as far as property and even more importantly, as far as custody of the kids, everybody's saying he had to do it. He had to speak the truth at the expense of even custody of his children. Who would do that? Not even that. I mean, they're both still rich. He's not a billionaire anymore, but he can, of course, afford to take care of his kids. But again, did anybody ever say Daddy, what about us? Why are you blowing the whole world up? And you know that the custody judge is looking at everything you do. What sense does that make? Why would you even put that in jeopardy? If F that Adidas deal, F what he said about everyone else. If that was me, I'd be like, this is the one thing that I can't play about. Anyway, they said Kanye West has lost his shirt over his hateful rants. But we've learned he still he still has his divorce lawyer and that attorney is working with Kim's to hammer out a settlement so the case doesn't end up in trial. Sources with direct knowledge, <laughs> Chris Jenner, tell TMZ, although New York attorney Bob Cohen withdrew his divorce cancel amid Kanye's despicable comments, he still has attorney Nick Salad representing him. Salad is a Beverly Hills lawyer who Ye hired at the same time as Cohen. I want to say this. Cohen, obviously part of that community. And listen, if you don't want to take a case, you don't want to take a case. But when it comes to lawyers, I kind of look at them as like, you guys hire, you guys defend serial killers. You guys defend the worst of the worst in society. Anyway, 
we're told Salik is trying to work out both the custody and property settlement agreement with Kim's lawyer, who is now Tia Mary's lawyer. Go check out the um, video if you haven't seen it. Laura Wasser. The goal is to avert, uh, avert a trial that is scheduled for December. Ooh, that would be fun if Ye bought this to court. Not for the kids, but for us. Now here's where Kim showed her hand. She said, they said, it's interesting. One of the sticking points in the case is that Kanye wanted their four kids to attend the Donda Academy. But Kim said, no way. Especially since the children were all rooted in an accredited school. If Kanye got his way, the kids would have no place to go since he just shut down Donda Academy. As for custody, our sources say, although Kanye has been present at several sporting events with the kids, he's not exercised any custodial rights in months. He said last month Kim has 80% custody, So, um, but it sounds like she has more. As unclear at this point, if they'll be able to reach a settlement ahead of trial. Y'all, first paragraph, the paragraph I told you guys to stay, pay attention to, um, she literally saw he shut down the uh, uh, academy, right? She's hilarious, actually. It's such a heavy hand, obvious way. Like her sexuality, like her look, like everything, right? Kim contacted the uh, divorce attorneys to push through the divorce once Danda Academy got shut down and to really push child custody. One, she's been letting Kim have the kids 80% of the time because Kim has said herself that she felt like it was difficult, right? She felt like it was difficult for Kanye to see and she didn't want him around the kids that much. And now why the whole world's hating on him, you're now being like, he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, the kids can't be around him. Only problem is Miss Kimberly Noel, and I say this once and I say it again, just because Kanye's wrong doesn't make you right. Kim, we all know the type of people that Christian arrays and what you're capable of. Those, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. So what did Kanye do? Either he spoke to his lawyers or Salik spoke to him and said, what the hell, man? Are you insane? You're going to lose custody of your kids. And Kanye opened Donda Academy up again. Woo! You can't tell me this wasn't because of the divorce custody dispute. But listen to this, right? They said, Kanye was just kidding. Donda Academy is back on, right? He said, they just got this email that said, Dear parents and staff, Join us tomorrow morning and worship for the return of Donda Academy. With the help of our parents and community, we're back and returning with a vengeance. The children of Donda are going to change the world. Apologies for the late email. See you bright and early, parents of Donda. Now, listen, this was odd because four hours earlier, if I was a parent, honestly, I'd be like, get the kids out of here, start interviewing, like, I don't care, right? Because they're not staying in there. Four hours early, earlier, this was posted. Urgent, please read. Dear Donda Academy fa families, we hope this email finds you well. Already, whenever somebody says, I hope this email finds you well, they're already on their BS, right? First, we'd like to express our gratitude for the community of families and scholars that Donda Academy is brought together. However, at the discretion of our founder, Donda Academy will close for the remainder of the 2022-2023 school year effective immediately. Thursday, October 27th, there is no school tomorrow. Our leadership team will be working diligently to assist all families during this transition, ensuring that every scholar has what they need to succeed in our next community in a prompt and gracious manner. We intend to begin afresh in September of 2023, and we're confident our scholars will continue to advance as the creative innovators, courageous influencers, and academic leaders of the next generation. Thank you, Rose. Well, at least Kanye's finally starting to care about somebody Black, even though they are his own children. You can't tell me this isn't because of the divorce. He ain't walking out of the kindness of his heart. He didn't do all this. The divorce, Kim got wonder what happened. Kanye probably didn't run it by the divorce lawyer. The divorce lawyer was like, what the hell are you doing, man? And then it all went to hell after that. Listen, well played, Kim, but just showed your hand too soon. And even though Kanye might be running off of the mouth, his lawyers ain't. His lawyers are literally earning their money. I just want to actually read you this. Also, I got this as one of my um, 
Somebody left this comment, Sherry Dawn left this comment, and I think it really encapsulates a lot of what people feel. She said, Kim is full of ish. Ye was wrong, but where was all that energy when he was talking about black people and no one cared? What did Kim think her children were different? That they didn't apply to her? That half Armenian blood was gonna save them from whatever? And here's the thing, I'm not hating, I hope it does, but I grew up in America and I know by what happened to their papa, losing two billion, definitely said things that he deserved to be humbled. But you look at a Mel Gibson, and you look at Kanye, you see? Anyway, my whole point is, um, after you see what happened to their papa, baby, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. They said the Kardashians sucked the blood out of Ye and threw him to the wolves. Kim wasn't thinking about her kids when she went live talking about Pete's BDE. She wasn't thinking about her kids when North was sitting in between Pete's legs, nor was she thinking about her kids when she used her son for a storyline. Now Kim's scared for her kids. Give me a break. She exploits those kids for a personal gain. The whole family is sick. Did the public care what Kim and her mother use lies about that tape with Ray J for ratings on Hulu? Why wasn't Kris Jenner canceled for P P I M Kim watching the tape? having her daughter and Ray do it over until they got it right and orchestrating a lie for fame. Why didn't the mainstream media talk about why uh, wasn't this heinous crime important? Why was it important that Kim robbed Brandy and her mama and use the money that her sis with her sisters to start the dash store? Adidas used Ye fall from grace to rob him. Ye buttered the Kardashians bread fed them wine. Now he slipped and they're watching him burn. Be careful who you give your loyalty to. Ye is no prince. With that said, if it wasn't for Ye, the Kardashians wouldn't have the reverence they are they have today. He opened doors for the Kardashians that was shut tight. Every life matters, but in America, black lives don't matter. No one gets canceled. No one gets canceled for saying anything against certain people. And when we do try to do it, when we do try to do it, there's so much pushback from every single person. Again, I think Sherry King put it completely. Thank you so much for this comment. It encompasses everything. No one gets canceled for hypocrisy. Kanye apologized. He said his wording came out wrong and making a point about the music industry. Mel never made any apologies. Listen, I agree with you. I agree with you. But listen, at the end of the day, let me know what you think in the comments, y'all. I think Kanye did it to himself. I think that um, I think that uh, uh, Kim, he will, given the chance again, fall on his sword again. Listen, Kanye loves who he loves. Nobody cares about that. He defends who he wants to defend. He fights for what he wants to fight for. We saw that with Kim. He lost everything fighting for the woman he loves and the mother of his kids and big ups to you. But now that we know you know how to fight, we see what you're doing for the community. We see what you're doing to others. Man, listen, I don't know. There's something going on. I'll tell you that much. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video because even Candace Owen, who did a video in support of Ye for Adidas, deleted the video and, can't, and pulled it down and deleted him. And Candace Owens doesn't delete any videos. Y'all, there's something brewing. I'm investigating and I will talk to you later. Bye.